Well, the fate of a local historic aircraft is a mystery tonight as the hangar at Feltz Field that stores them can't keep them anymore. The Historic Flight Foundation closed its doors to the public for now because of some legal challenges in North Dakota. Its founder has to pay off $20 million in debts, leaving uncertainty for when the museum might reopen. Peter Choi explains why. I'm here at the Historic Fly Foundation and take a look at this. It's temporarily closed right now. I spoke to a neighbor who stopped by this museum every day and he tells me it'd be sad to see this place gone forever. Old stuff, especially flying things are pretty interesting. Stopping by the museum five times a week, he says he's sad to see it closed. Now I dropped in a few days ago and Asked the guys working in there, when's this going to reopen? They said, we don't know. The museum founder, John Sessions, owns several businesses, including Eagle Crest Apartments. Last year, North Dakota jury found that Sessions had violated fraudulent transfer of funds. The North Dakota court says UMB Bank was allowed to collect more than $20 million in debts from Sessions. His appeal failed. The last Thursday, Spokane County Superior Court denied Sessions' motion to cancel the North Dakota's court judgment. According to court documents, the judge says, quote, Historic Fly Foundation argument misunderstands the reach of Washington law. Washington law would not consider other state laws and the money problems cross the state lines. I asked Sessions over the phone for a comment on the current legal challenges. He says he will not make a statement because he's still in litigation. Yeah, it's a shame because it's always been an interesting place to go. In Spokane, Peter Choi, Fornish Now.